How's it going everybody? Welcome to this week's video. I want to first start off with, I'm using my GoPro again, but I modified the case. So hopefully the sound is a little bit better with this. Cause, well, I'm poor. <laughs> Not really. Okay, but I have a um, GoPro Hero 3 Plus and you have certain cases and this and that. Well, I didn't feel like ordering the one to cover the screen and still give good mic access, so I went ahead and modified the top of this one to open up the to the mic better. So hopefully, quality is better. But now we're going to go ahead and start on the, um, getting this concrete mixer back together. The wheels are locked up, so I need to pull the carter pin out of that one and pull the pin out of this one and, well, go ahead and replace both wheels. Because that one's locked up, this one barely, and I mean really barely, rolls. So let's go ahead, get some pliers, get a hammer. We're going to get these wheels off, and then probably run to Harbor Freight and pick up some new wheels for this thing. Because we're going to do some concrete work here in a little bit. Alright, I don't know how easy this is going to be to come off. Concrete. Oh, dang, came off easier than I thought. Heck yeah. Put it on jack stands. rusted on there. I'm gonna need a wire wheel or something. Well, I've been beating and banging on it and it ain't moving. The other one just managed to like just fall off when I hit it with a hammer. So I mean, but this piece is like rusted on and not coming off. This one, it's stuck. So I'm really gonna have to figure out something else to do. I don't know. I hate to have to put like a whole new axle on this thing. Alright, I'll get back to you. Gotta think of something. Check Harbor Freight. See what they got first on their website. Then we'll go from there. Alright, just left Harbor Freight. It, Harbor Freight is literally four minutes from my house. So, went there and I picked up two tires. They were $7.50 a piece. They are the hard plastic. So they'll be able to withstand, you know, a concrete mixer and all that kind of stuff. And then what I figured, what I was thinking of is I am going to, well, tires are heavy. They almost set my ding seatbelt alarm off. So what I'm going to do is I think I have, those are half inch holes. So I have some half inch bolts at the house. So basically, I, and they're long too. I have some long ones. I have like six, eight inch long bolts. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to break the other wheel off and then the shaft that the wheels are on is hollow. So I'm going to put the bolt into there weld it in hopefully the metal is good enough where I can weld to it and then basically slip that over it put a nut on it 
should be back to wheeling it around because like I said we're gonna be doing some concrete work here real shortly like in this video and then there's but there's a lot of concrete work to be done in the future so I need to get this thing up and get it running right so that way we can get all this concrete work done because I got a lot all right see you at the house okay so what we're gonna do now is we are going to actually cut the shaft on both of those and then we are going to weld some new pieces in and all that kind of stuff because basically them shafts are really messed up and part of this doesn't come off anyways right here so we're gonna go ahead and just slice it off right there on both sides and go from there we're going to put this in because then that fits into there and I can weld this and the wheel can weld on that but this has got to go in farther clean out all this junk in there it's going to be hard to see but there's a lot of junk in there so let's go ahead and clean that out so that way this can fit all the way in and then the shaft will fit on there Okay, I didn't record this part, which, that's just me, I start working. So there it is. Let me go ahead and take this off. This isn't welded on yet, but basically, have a, sh a sleeve that goes in, then this, let's go ahead and put that together, fits together like that. I welded the back side so it's not loose and then basically put the wheel on tighten the bolt down then it's done so back to good wheels again or at least on this side i still gotta get that one off so now let's go ahead and get it welded right around that edge Keep the ground going. 
at least anybody that uses this next time will be happy that it actually has wheels that work. Alright, there we go. Now it's welded. I'll wire wheel it up, throw some paint on it, and this side's done. Now we gotta figure out how to get the other side off. Because the wheel is stuck, so we're gonna have to do something to get that off, then make it look like this. Okay, let me go ahead. So, here's that side all done and painted. There's that side all done and painted. Now, slip the wheel on. Try to put a nut on there. There we go. Now, we just tighten down. All right, there's that side. Now let's go ahead and get the other one done. thing off the, the stands. Sweet. Now, <laughs> rolls like it's supposed to. I know. It's a small accomplishment, but hey. Something I needed to get done. Because, like I said earlier in the video, we are going to get some concrete work done here. And I'm going to start doing that. Only thing is, it's supposed to rain for the next day or two. And it just started sprinkling today. So, uh, Dad won't get any concrete work done today. But, I guess we'll just pick it up in another video. Alright, hope you enjoyed this little video of me fixing my concrete mixer. But again, we will get back to other things. The car is in the works. There are videos coming out for that, so don't worry. All right, like, subscribe, comment. Catch you in the next video.